Hello team and welcome to today's video for PowerPoint. Where I'm going to be sharing with you how to create both an easy and a more advanced glass morphism effect. Let's jump in. Let's start with the easier glass morphism effect. Choose your image and then duplicate it. Head to the picture menu and decrease the sharpness by 100. Now copy the image and click on your background and choose picture fill and then select clipboard. You can now delete the blurred image. Take the image with the high clarity and increase it over the entire slide. Go to the insert tab and insert a rounded rectangle. In the fill menu option, select slide background fill. Under effects, choose this center inner shadow and change the color to white. Finally, change the blur to about 15. Also make sure you remove the outline. And there you have it team, an easy glass morphism effect that you can use. Now let's work on the more advanced version. Insert a rounded rectangle, change the outline to a solid white line, and give it about a 50% transparency. Select gradient fill, and for the two outside gradients, you want them set at 0% transparency. You want the two inner gradients 10% away from the outer ones and set to 90% transparency. Now duplicate your chosen background image and decrease the sharpness as desired. Copy the image and select picture or texture fill for the background and choose clipboard. We can now delete our blurred image and place the high quality image over the entire slide. Duplicate your rounded rectangle and set the fill to the slide background fill. Now bring your original rounded rectangle to the front and line them up. And there you have it team. We completed our second more advanced glass morphism effect and you'll notice for both of these, if you move it around the slide, the image changes. I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos.